Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we want to talk about securing secrets into Power Apps using Azure Key Vault. So as we build modern applications, we often need to store the sensitive or confidential data like API keys or any sensitive data which is of high sensitivity. So storing them directly into Power Apps is not a recommended way, it's not secure. So this is where Azure Key Vault comes into picture. Azure Key Vault, you may already be knowing about it, but Azure Key Vault is a cloud-based service that helps us to secure, store, manage, and secrets, encryption keys, and certificates. And since Power Apps does not have a direct connector to Key Vault, we are going to use the Power Automate to facilitate that. So we'll be taking help of Power Automate to encrypt the data, to get the secrets, app IDs, or app keys. And then in turn, we are going to use that into Power App. So there could be multiple uh, business case scenarios for example one small application which i built is just having this capturing the employee bonuses and bonus amount for employees can be a confidential or sensitive stuff so while saving that into data source and in our case that is sharepoint list so we have this employees and then bonus amount so we want to secure them so that even the people who are having the read access to this sharepoint list should not able to depict the bonus amount. So once I do that, like for example, if I added this and just want to save this bonus amount for that particular employee. So let's say like HR is creating those entries and want to save that into SharePoint list where the developer built out this list, but even the developer should not see that sensitive information. So once we do that, the HR do the saving operation, then with the help of Power Automate, we are creating an encrypted stream and then having this sensitive data stored in an encrypted way. And again, like when we want to showcase back that to HR, we can decrypt the same data with the same application key. And this will be like shown in a normal numeric way as we want to depict or we want to show that to HR. So this is a, I mean, proper business case, like where we want to just hide the confidential information, even from the SharePoint administration administrators or SharePoint site owners. So that way, like we can just have one integration with the Azure Key Vault and then we can just store or access this uh, secure data in a confidential manner. And the same use case, like where we want to make a call to any third party APIs or any third party services, then we want to store the, those app IDs or app keys in a secured way. So again, like that uh, key, Azure Key Vault facilitate that feature also, like where we can just store our app IDs and uh, application secrets and we'll be retrieving them in a confidential manner within our Power Automate with it using the Azure Key Vault as a connector. So we are going to take a look on that. So to start with, I am into my portal azure.com and where I searched for my Azure Key Vault service. So right now these three services are created for it. So I can start creating one more Azure Key Vault for my HR applications, let's say. So I will start using my this Azure subscription, I can create a new resource group and just have the region and pricing tier like in place. And once you do that, so we have to provide the Azure key vault name. So I will say this, my organization name and key vault so that I can able to use this going forward. And once I do that, going to the next screen. So in the permission model, so grant data plain access by using Azure Rabbit that is role-based access or key vault access policy. So we are going to use this role-based access policy. And when we say next, so in the networking tab, like we'll be just enabling it. And in next, you can have those tags so that you can group or uh, give or categorize your this key vault. So right now I can just leave it and we'll just go to the next tab where we can just create this key vault. So once it's done, like it will initialize the deployment with the name whatever the name you have given. And once the deployment is done, we can go to our resources and can provide the permissions to this key vault. So directly I can just go to my resource and over here, we'll be directly going to the access control IAM and where we would be granting the permission as an administrator to my current account so that I can create the keys and secrets. So first of all, if you wish to like uh, look at your access, so right now it will be given directly with the owner access because you have created this subscription by yourself. But to grant the permission where you can create the keys and secret, we have to have this add role assignment with the 
keyword administrator so that you can do all the administration activity on it so you can search with key vault admin so select it go to next and over here you can assign this access to this directly to users group or service principal or you can use this as a managed entity so once i use that as a user so that if once i select the member i can select myself so that i can grant myself as an admin administration access to my this key vault and later on i'll just review and assign and this will add myself as an keyword administrator to my this azure keyword so once this is done i can directly go to keys or secrets so if your application if you want to make a secure call or want to store the api keys for any third party calls then you can just start creating this generate so you can just use generate or you can import like if you have already created one copy of uh, key and you want to import it you can import it that as well so with this one i will just say hr app key one and over here you can specify the size of the key key type rsc key size so you can specify which size you want to choose and set activation date expiration date for it and enabled by default and set key rotation policy not configured so once you click on it it will give you expiry time rotation enable rotation so rotation policy like uh, the automatically it should renew in how much time so that you can set as well so right now i'll just leave it as is and just create this key so this is created successfully and i can create a secret as well and i can specify the secret name so i will specify the hr app secret and provide a password or secret value like uh, for example if you wish to like access some th third party application that app key value pair the client id client secret you can put over here so i'll i'm just putting something text and set activation ex expiration date same and create it so this is just admin operation where we are just setting up azure key vault and the same key vault we are going to now work with our power apps and power automate so i will just go to my, back to my flows so i'll first of all show you how you can create how you can use this azure key vault with your power automate and as you as you know like uh, we'll be making a connector first of all so i can just directly go to the connections and then search for the azure keyword connector and just to remember like it's a premium connector so you have to have premium licenses placed in and this is worth to have it because you want to secure your confidential data with a security of azure keyword that brings like comma security to your entire organization level app so over here i can click on azure keyword and i can create a connection using default microsoft intra id the permissions which we have granted to our azure key vault so in the name you have to specify the name of azure key vault so this is the name of our key vault so i'll just specify this over there so that the connection can be made to this azure key vault create and it will ask for authorizing it once so we have created this connection now we can go back to our flow where we can start using this connector to extract to get the app keys and app secret and as well as we can use this to encrypt and decrypt data in a secure fashion so i'll just say instant cloud flow will choose the trigger as manual for now just to explore like what options we are having and once we have this i will search for azure key vault and i'll click on see more we'll see all the actions which is given by this azure key vault service so decrypt with data key encrypt with data key catch secret decrypt data key key version so these are related to metadata but uh, these four operations are like uh, useful to us like where we are going to encrypt the data with key so i'll just select this encrypt with data key select the key so this is giving me the other connection so i'll just change connection to my the newly created connection so i'll click on change connection and i will start using this new connection which we just created and this gave me this hr key app and algorithm type so you can select the encryption algorithm based on like whatever you want and over here i will just say salary is 80k so this is just my raw data so that we can see like whether this encryption using this azure app key 
what is happening or not so i'll just do a save and we'll do a test run and the same thing we are going to decrypt so it ran and we can just directly go to the output and over here this is encrypt encrypted value which we got so this same encrypted value as can be used to decrypt while decrypting that data so the same in, encrypt with data key is being used into my this power app so if i just close this one and if i go to my power automate and i will modify this power automate so it's taking the value from as an input from power apps taking the input value encrypt with data key and then respond that the encrypted value again back to the power apps so the same action is being used and we can just do a quick decrypt operation decrypt with data key again we'll be selecting the we have to change the connection to the right azure app key vault and select this one the algorithm so we have to use the same algorithm which we used while encrypting it and we'll be just using the value body encrypted data from this previous step and we will save it and as an output we are expecting our raw data which we initially passed for the encryption and as an output we'll go back to our output and now as an output of decrypt key we got this salary is 80k the raw data which we initially passed to our encrypted the encrypted data with key action so that's how you can do it so this is about confidentiality like for sense storing the sensitive data or showing that sensitive data and if we talk about like uh, getting the app ids and app secrets so we have again like i'll just go to azure key vault actions again and there we will find this get secrets and get key action so we have this get secret and i'll again use this get secret will set up the connection secret app secret i'll just save it and run and the app secret whatever app secret we have specified so it will start giving us this secret so this would be used when you want to make a secure call or you want to store the api keys from for external third party calls into a zero keyword then this would be handy like where you can just grab the output of your get secret action and then make a call to the external connector or external service so that's how you should do it so i think that was a quick overview how you can integrate your azure app key vault with power automate in turn with the power apps as well to encrypt or decrypt the sensitive data and to get the app id app, app secrets i hope like uh, i found it useful and i would recommend like uh, using start using this to store the confidential or secret data for your application and you have this certificate way also like where you can generate the certificate for your organization and have them used to make these secure calls so this is pretty much for this video but that's uh, i would still suggest to like have a detailed look on it how you can provide more security to your organization level apps using this azure key vault in conjunction with power apps and power automate so that is it for today's video if you have any questions please drop your comments i'll try to answer thank you